If you're wondering why you should move to Edmonton, well, here are the top nine reasons why you should move here. So stay tuned. What's up everyone? This is Eric Yip. I'm a local real estate agent here. And if you're new to my channel, I make a lot of videos, everything about Edmonton, eating, sleeping, drinking, playing, working, everything and anything you can imagine. So if you like this video, please smash that like button. It really helps me out. And also please subscribe. And this way, if I make more future videos, you won't miss out. Anyways, let's get right to it. The number one reason why you should move to Edmonton is because we pay less taxes here compared to lots of tax, little tax, lots of tax, little tax. And yes, instead of paying PST and HST plus GST, we only pay GST here. So what that means is whether you're buying groceries, you're buying your day-to-day -day, uh, clothing, anything you need, uh, especially if you're buying a bigger ticketed item like a computer, laptop, cell phone, even a car. Maybe you want to buy a plane, I don't know, helicopter or something, a house, a mansion, a castle, a hotel. You're going to save money. Second thing, we have actually have four seasons here. So we have spring, we have summer, we have autumn, and we have winter. Uh, springtime, it goes by pretty quick. And I, I actually quite like spring. Um, well, I like I like it and I don't because I like the fact that we're transitioning from winter to spring. All the leaves are starting to come out. The snow is melting away. The thing I don't like about it is the fact that when you have all the ice on the snow and it's slushy, your cars that get dirty all the time. And I need to wash my vehicle nearly every other day to make sure it's clean. And of course it gets dirty again the second I clean, I wash it and that part I'm not a big fan of. However, uh, jumping into summer now, summer's amazing guys. Summer in Edmonton, there's so much to do. Uh, I personally like playing tennis, so if you guys like playing tennis, give me a shout. Love to smack the ball around with you, have a game, have a set. Um, and also if you like playing basketball, uh, we have basketball courts, tennis courts, it's free. Uh, if you like skateboarding, we have those uh, skateboarding parks also. Uh, people, if you love soccer or rugby, um, football, uh, we have all of those fields. And uh, swimming, we do have some ice lakes here, here also. So during summertime, if you want to go to the lakes, it is nice there. You can go fishing. I, I actually quite like fishing. First time I remember when I went fishing, I didn't know anything about fishing. But it, it was pretty amazing. I, I caught a baby pike. I didn't know what to do. And oh, poor little guy. I had to rip the head off instead of taking the, the hook out of the teeth and to release it. Oh, and I feel so bad. However, what was really cool was where I was. I, it, it was just like in the National Geographic where I think it was about... Uh, roughly I'm gonna say 25 yards uh, a bald eagle came down and swept and swept the the, the, the fish away uh, after I threw it into the lake and that was very very cool uh, summertime there's we have the farmers market we have different festivals like the fringe we have music festival food festival beer festival uh, and yeah, so that's it for summer. Heading into winter, yes. No, sorry, skipped, I skipped autumn. Autumn is actually very, very cool. I love autumn because during the daytime, a lot of time, uh, the temperature still goes up to anywhere from 20 degrees to potentially 25 degrees, sometimes 27 during the daytime. At nighttime in the evening, it can dip down to about 10 degrees. And for nighttime to sleep when it's a little bit cooler, I actually quite enjoy that. And during the daytime, of course, you want it warmer. So autumn to me is nearly the perfect weather where in the daytime it's warmer, nighttime it's a little bit cooler. Now we're heading into winter. I do come across people where they absolutely love the cold, they love the snow, they love winter, 
and also because they love winter sports. Myself, I don't do a whole lot of winter sports. Uh, I'm not a big skier or snowboarder. I remember the first time I went skiing. I had the impression that skiing was like skiing on cotton or clouds where you're floating. It's so easy. I was dead wrong. It was just not easy at all. I fell a couple times and it just, you're so hot and then when it's cold outside, you get cold very, very quickly. And to me, I didn't quite enjoy that as much, but some people love that. And in winter time, we do have some places where you can still do some of your most favorite outdoor sports like tennis. We have the Seville Center close to the, the university. Uh, you can play tennis there. There is curling. Uh, you can play basketball there. There's volleyball. Uh, and what else is there? And yeah, that's it for winter. Let's head on to the next. Number three. It is sunny here in Edmonton most of the time. Doesn't matter whether it's summer, spring, autumn, even winter. So if you're afraid of the winter blues, as long as it's sunny, I think it's okay. Uh, the only time some people might get depressed, even myself, is when it's winter, it's super cold, minus 30, minus 40. Uh, and when it's dark out there, during the daytime, it just, it sucks. Not gonna lie. It just, it, 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 it feels so depressing. You don't wanna do anything. All you wanna do is maybe crawl back into bed or get on your couch and nap and nap and nap and more napping. Number four, we have a lot of greenery here. I love the trees, the grass, the mountains, all the, 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 the different plants and flowers even. It's just, it's beautiful here. Uh, I don't know if spring's my favorite time, but it certainly is very nice because, like I mentioned earlier, when you transition from winter to spring and you start seeing that little bit of green on the ground, the grass is starting to regrow and the trees are starting to fill with leaves. It's just beautiful to know that life is, there's life again. All the, the animals, especially the, the bunnies, uh, or I guess the wild bunnies, the hares, where they're switching from the, the winter coat to the, their brown coat. Uh, it is, um, actually I prefer when they go from brown to, to white, it's more cute, but nevertheless, it is green here. If you love hiking, biking, uh, camping, camping's a big one here, you go fishing, it, it, it's, it's just beautiful. Uh, sit around the campfire, have some s'mores, have, oh, some steak or some chicken wings around the campfire, chatting with friends, having a nice cold beverage, the best. Number five, Edmonton is actually, in my opinion, it's a very fam family friendly city. Most people that live here, uh, they're, they're, there's a lot of things that families can do. A lot of neighborhoods are, they're, they're definitely building more and more schools because of the population. They wanna make sure that all the families are taken care of. There's splash parks. There are different places where family can go to, even the restaurants. They have little menus for children, children's menu. So we're covering the kids also. There's just, there's so much to do for families. And most people that I meet, when they move here, they move here because of family. And they always tell me that, Eric, the reason why we're moving to Edmonton is we want a place where our children can grow. It's not too fast and it's not too slow. It's just, in their opinion, it's just right. Number six, Edmonton is also known for its diversity in culture. It's very, very multicultural here. Uh, there's a lot of people that come from all over the world, whether you're coming from Ethiopia, Dubai, India, uh, Spain, Mexico, uh, I don't know what else is there. Uh, people come do come from the United States. There are people that come from England, Greece. 
uh, everywhere and anywhere. There's just there's so many people that move here, and I've gotten to meet so many wonderful people the years uh, through real estate, where I, I help them find the right home for them, and I, I just love it. A lot of times. Uh, for example, if you look at some clients, for, uh, whether they are from Japan or North Korea, uh, a lot of times after I've helped them, they always go, Eric, you know what? You know, come into my home. I want to make you kimchi. I want to make you sushi. It's just, you know, they're, they're always feeding you. It's just, it, it's, it's amazing. And uh, I, I, I guess for a lot of culture, they feel that by feeding you, they're taking care of you and they're showing that they care about you. And I absolutely love it when you get to know the different cultures of people. So absolutely love that about Edmonton. Number seven, there is so much to do in Edmonton, whether it's sports in summertime, uh, beach volleyball, winter, of course, there's uh, hard court volleyball, uh, there's tennis, there is, uh, you can play soccer, you can do, go to all the different festivals, there are times when people go hiking, if you want to go biking, there's just, there's lots to do. There, there's even theaters. There is a place called the Rec Room where people can go and play video games. There's an axe throwing place. There's bowling. There's different leagues. There is just, there, there's lots of, lots, so much to do. Absolutely love it. And even if you didn't want to, if you're on a budget and you just want to go spend time in the the open well not so much the open but in a park or oh Horlack Park if you want to go camping and you want to go throw a frisbee around maybe kick a football around and hang out with friends fly a kite that'd be amazing that I remember years ago I went to fly a kite and all these adults were laughing at me but they were, it, it was they were giggling and guess what Two days later, guess what I saw? They were all flying kites in the area. How cool is that? Number eight. Edmonton is a growing city. Uh, we're over a million in population now, and there's always new construction, new people moving to Edmonton instead of moving away and it being a dead city. So in terms of a city, for it to grow, it's not growing too fast. Uh, I, I really like that because whether it is new businesses that are coming to Edmonton, for example, their uh, Amazon uh, just moved to uh, north of, uh, not north, south of Edmonton. So obviously that means that there's jobs, people are moving here, uh, they bring their families, and the city's just growing. So there's definitely lots of opportunity in Edmonton, and yeah, it's, and it's, it's worth checking out. And last but not least, Edmontonians are very, very friendly and they're helpful and they are giving. Anytime you need a lending hand, I always feel that there's someone out there that is willing to help people, uh, myself included, and it's just, it, it makes you feel so good to know that people are just friendly. People are usually smiling. If you say hi to a stranger, or you're walking by with your dog, uh, a lot of times they'll actually say hi back. Just the other night, I went for a quick stroll and I never met these people before. They were walking in the neighborhood with a Pyrenees puppy, because uh, I know it was a Pyrenees puppy, because I used to have a couple of Pyrenees. Um, oh, it was the cutest thing ever. Um, uh, it was very, very fluffy. It, it was just, it was so cute. They had a little Shih Tzu also. It was a family of four, uh, mom and dad and, and two children. And I just went by and introduced myself and said, hey guys, is this a Pyrenees pup? And I guess they were a little bit shocked that I knew that it was a Pyrenees puppy, but I told them that I used to have a couple of them and uh, we just started talking. And I, I rushed home and I brought them, brought the, the little dog a um, some, some treats as well as a toy. And I think they were very surprised that I would do that. But, you know, to me, I feel like in this world, we're put on to this earth to give more than receive. And so there you go. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. 
And until next time, we'll see you later. Peace out.